Hello back players! Yo, what's up and what is good? YouTube the World Wide Web. As you guys can see, it's Paul Can 2 back at you guys with a brand new YouTube video. What's up? This is actually gonna be like a um, sneaker steals slash items I recently thrifted and did not take my camera into the store when I grabbed them. So I have a bunch of cool ass stuff to show off. But before I get into this video, you guys, <laughs> you guys already know, man. I gotta shout out the Sus Squad for coming through with these ridiculous comments. This one I just saw today. It's in reference to my FTP unboxing. And go ahead and peep that if you guys have not already. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless. Um, the dude Drew1251 said, Who else hit pause when Paul showed his nipple and licked their phones? Bruh, I know for a fact it's not sanitary, but I do appreciate it because I do have tiny dime-sized nipples. I feel like they are very undersized um, for my age. You know what I'm saying? No what? way. <laughs> Why did I get that specific? Uh, the dude of Rose Central also left a comment that said, Can two need to go ahead and show us how he used sperm to grow his hair? Come on, bro. You already know how that's done. <laughs> but anyways, man, um, essentially what had happened was on Saturday, your boy was in Houston at a nice little vegan festival. And then I stopped in a Buffalo Exchange and this other random thrift store across the street and I got some heat. All right, so all the fire your boy got is in this beautiful pink Flamingo thrift store bag. And I got nothing but windbreakers because you guys know I'll be breaking wind like a boss. So uh, I'm just gonna throw all these on body so you guys can see how flamboyant they are. And uh, yeah, man. So the first one right here is um, this little A6 joint. And this piece is just crazy. And of course it is wavy, very old school. Now all these windbreakers I got for less than $10, which was definitely a steal in my mind. And I just feel like this windbreaker looks hella cool on body. But unfortunately, a lot of these windbreakers fit my tall Ethiopian Kevin Durant long arm white boy looking at hella weird. Ah oh, man, I probably should have unzipped this whole thing. Woo! Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This jacket clearly does look dope, but I feel like it just looks hella strange on my very long appendages. So yeah, man, this was a sick piece, and I grabbed all these windbreakers because I'm going to be in Chirac, Sneaker Con at Chicago, so pull up on your boy, because all these windbreakers and a lot more are going to be for sale up in that thing. All right, windbreaker number two. I actually grabbed this one from my personal collection. I thought it'd go really dope with my custom Safari Pack Air Monarchs, but unfortunately, I feel like this jacket looks like ass on body. So that's why your boy is uh, going to be flipping and dipping this guy as well. Let's move on to number three. Number three, my lord. Number three, my lord. All right, y'all, you got to admit, I'll throw the hat on real quick for this guy. I feel like this windbreaker looks like straight up pure unadulterated fire. Trippy. I like the orange going with the orange. It kind of has this crazy looking like theme to it. Got a lot of stars that go hard on the boulevard. And that's why I love 90s windbreakers, bro. They just add that pop of spice and that, that pop of color to any outfit. So yeah, man, had to get this one. I feel like every time I put one of these on, I'm like being birthed into this world. But this windbreaker is more subtle and sexy. And I'm throwing all these on just because I feel like a lot of you guys don't know necessarily when you see some flamboyant, crazy 90s stuff, how it would look on body. And uh, yeah, man, you know, it looks like straight up sexiness, boy. So this piece right here looks hella Victorian. It has roses on it. It got my favorite color, which is motherfucking cheetah print up on it. And it just overall has this really cool type of triangular design pointing at the genitalia. So if you guys are amazing, season if you're in heat if you're trying to get someone to suck your meat this is the piece for you touch my sway wish you cool i look fly i look good Woo. all right then last and certainly not least is probably my most favorite uh windbreaker that your boy purchased and it's this one right here it got all type of brown mocha chocolate looking coffee inspired flowers and it has the cheetah print on it you guys know the cheetah print print so it only makes sense and it actually fits pretty well in regards to sleeve lengthages so uh yeah man i definitely am very satisfied with this one breaker right here this just goes to show man that you guys may be sleeping on the granny section because sometimes it comes through with that fire now um the sneakers we're gonna get into those last because i'm a bitch and uh, i want you guys to maintain your attention on this video but um, I was on OfferUp as well, 
and I saw this jersey that this guy was selling. It was the Earl Campbell Houston Oilers jersey. You guys know, Ace Town, hold it down, Ace Town, Texas Braidwood, baby. It is Ace Town, Texas Braidwood, baby. But yeah, man, I saw someone selling this Earl Campbell jersey. Easily one of my favorite players. He went to the University of Texas. They wanted seventy-five dollars. And I was on my shorty, I was like, yo, watch this. And I just offered them 35, just like, not to be a dick, but to be a dick, I guess. I don't know, I should be low balling sometimes. <laughs> it fucking worked. The dude was like, yeah, man, can you meet up right now, da 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 I was like, yeah, of course, bro. So I met him at the mall, and I don't know, like, no offense, bro. He, he seemed like like a crackhead on the low, you know what I'm saying? Not like crack demon level, you dig? But, but he seemed, I don't know, he just seemed a little weird. But anyways, man, um... This is the jersey that I got from him. It is an all embroidered Reebok Earl Campbell jersey. This did have some slight flaws. It has like some tiny stainages. I guess that's why he took the 35, but I definitely will be able to get those out. But Earl Campbell was that dude just trucking people. So yeah, man, just a dope legend. And I cannot wait for the Travis Cactus Jack Scotts to come out because hopefully I can get them and rock and shock them with this jersey. A lot of people sleep on football jerseys, but if you just have some baggier shorts or some semi like loose fitting jeans, they look really damn clean. So yeah, bruh, this looks dope on body. H-Town, hold it down. You already know what it is. Okay, now it's time to get into the kicks. Now, I haven't done an episode of Sneaker Steals in a while, but these are some damn steals for real. So, um, I definitely did finesse the game in this thing. So, we have two boxes of shoes. Now, uh, neither of these shoes came with the boxes, but hey, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, this first uh, sneaker right here, I never thought I would actually purchase this brand. And in my last trip to the thrift, I was blazing up this brand and saying it's like straight up white people shoes. What are those? But <laughs> I found a doper rendition of this brand in the form of this sneaker. It was $40 and it is... Bam! What, what are, are those? those? So basically I got some Brooks running shoes right here. So um, you guys may have never heard of the brand Brooks or never personally rocked and shocked a pair and I never rocked a pair either but when I saw these they just grabbed my attention for some reason I just love pink shoes bro like this may be a delusional thought pattern that I have in my head but I just feel like pink matches with everything so these are very cool I don't really know what material this is but it has this like satin silk-esque type of pink material it also has suede and mesh on the toe cap and then it has like this dope contrast with the indigo type of purple and then also it has blackberry detailing going on so I figured for 40 bucks these were a steal when I threw them off feet they look so clean with the socks that I was rocking and the short combo that I had on that I was like bro I gotta go ahead and cop lock and drop on these joints right here. Um, I also grabbed another piece. I have no idea where it is in my apartment at Buffalo Exchange that matches these perfectly. Hold on, let me find it. Oh, here it is. What well, I am. All right, guys. So to go with the kicks, I finessed the Minnie Mouse extra large t-shirt for $9. Now, I don't try on t-shirts in thrift stores just because I ain't got the time for that. But um, when I put this on body in my apartment, it looks sick. So low key for nine bucks plus 40, which is 49. Quick mass, boom. Minus one, that's free quick mass, boom. I went ahead and actually uh, caught myself basically a full fit in the thrift. Now last and not least, of course, we have one more piece of sneaker heat. Kadushka. All right, man, so the last pair of shoes your boy got are the Air Jordan 12s. And these are in the uh, cherry vanilla ice cream color scheme. You take what I'm saying? So um, I had to grab these, man. They were 45 hollas. These unfortunately are not my size and that has been the story of my life. So this was like one of the first pair of Jordans your boy ever got. I was like five years old in fucking kindergarten and I had the Godzilla slash starter Velcro sneakers, man. And now I went to school uh, in a community that was predominantly black. You dig what I'm saying? I was like one of the very rare unicorn white kids in the school system. So everybody had Jordans and I was rocking my Godzilla slash starter kicks. And my cousin, he had that moolah, he had that guap. His dad is a fucking surgeon. So his dad would copy him all the J's back in the early 90s when Michael Jordan was doing his damn ting. Sigue, Jordan ahí. 
And uh, I got the hand-me-down. So when I was five years old, I unboxed this big-ass cardboard vault. And I found some OG Jordan 12s, I do believe. They're either these or the 14s. But I do remember the chrome and the red and white color scheme. And I remember them just being too small. And I was so sad. But one man's curse is another man's blessing. So uh, these are available on my vintage website, which is thriftaventage.com. They are still up for a steal of a deal. So if you guys would like these or any other vintage apparel, the link is in the description, as is the Instagram that you guys need to follow and turn on post notifications. That way you guys are made aware of whenever the drops do occur. But yeah, man, these shoes just look clean overall, and I was very satisfied to actually find these in the thrift. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I got good deals, if I got finesse, anywhere in between. Leave some sus comments, and you will be likely to be featured. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Live the dream and eat that vegan ice cream. I'm locked and loaded, and I am gone. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to